truck of thunder here, guys. Well, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to be showing you today all of Desmond's ancestors. Because uh, I found a wiki about Assassin's Creed, and it shows all the ancestors. I already know what they are, but, you know, I thought I'd show them off. Now, the first one is, of course, Altair ibn Ahad, a 12th century assassin, which, er, yeah. Let me see, raised to be assassin from birth, Altair obtained the rank of master assassin by the age of 24. However, following his failure, wait, that's not me. Where does it say? Ah, right here. Altair ibn Ahad, 1165, um... And his death was 1257. I don't, I don't, I don't know why, but this 12th century stuff sounds like the um. Uh, medieval times. So yeah. He became master assassin uh, when he was pretty young. What did it say, 24? Yeah, 24. And uh, he was the start of Den Desmond's ancestry. So that would be Altair ibn the Ahad. Alright. Um, Ezio. Uh, Ezio. Auditore. Ezio Auditore. Da Firenze. F I R E N Z. Not, not S. Z E. Alright. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Shut up, SpongeBob. SpongeBob is on the TV. Right. Come on, show the picture. Ezio Auditori da Firenze. Basically just Ezio Auditori. Um, but the da Firenze comes from the city he was born in. Firenze. Ezio Auditori da Firenze. 1459 to 1524. Yep. Yeah. So in 1507, he was, I think, 38 and stuff. Alright. The mentor of an Italian Brotherhood of Assassins, a title. I can't read, damn it. Alright. My eyes are a little messed up because it's late and I'm tired. Right, a title which he held from 1503 to 1512. He is also an ancestor to Desmond Niles and Clay Kaz. Kaximatic, which was subject 16. So, yep. A member of the House of Auditori, Ezio remained unaware of the assassin heritage until he was 17, well, obviously. Hanged, obviously. His father and two brothers were hanged. And he's got many, ro well, not many, he's got. He took Giovanni's robe. Um. Because he, Giovanni gave it to him. Then he got Altair's armor and robe. Black robe. Then he got the white robe. Class assassin white. Yeah. Boy, Scepter, Roger Clegg, Roger Clegg, 
Craig Smith, who is going to play Batman in the new Arkham Origins. Alright. Alright, I'll stop reading about him and just show you them. Edward Kenway. Is he even in this yet? Wiki? Is he in this wiki yet? He should be. Yeah, he is. Right here. Hey. Hey. Yeah, here he is. Sixteen ninety three to seventeen thirty five. When did he die? Wow, he died at age forty two? Wow. Sort of young for death, but something must have happened. Maybe he dies at the end of Brotherhood. Er, not Brotherhood. Black Flag. But he looks pretty young in Black Flag. I don't know. Alright, he died. 1735, so, yeah, so he's like 20 or 15 years younger, because I think it was in 1715, yep, right there, alright, now Haytham Kenway, Haytham, Hey, from Kenway. Hey. Hey. Wait, what? Hey. Um, there we go. Come on. There we go. He's more of a Templar than the assassin, but he's got assassin skills. He's one of Desmond's ancestors. Yeah. Son of the pirate assassin Edward Kenway, Haytham was converted to the Templar cause as a young age by Reginald Birch following his father's death. After being sent to the British colonies in, in America to locate suspected first civilization store house, Haytham remained in an established a per permanent organized Templar presence in the colonies. Dick, but he's cool. And Connor. Oh no, not that Connor. You know, rat to tat tat nipple. I don't know how to spell his Indian name. Something like that. Ah, right here. Raton Hin Hake Tun took the name Connor upon Archelius' suggestion to Come on, why is this? There. Raton Hake Tun. I'll call him that now. Raton Hake Tun. A.K.A. Connor Kenway? Connor Kenway? I take it? He's cool. When was he born? Does it say when he died? No, it doesn't. Well, that's because he didn't come out too long ago. I'm not going to read about him. Alright, that's the end of this video. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, yeah, Chocolate Thunder out. Hope you enjoyed.